Cambridge has a, a very great history with Two Second Lean, how it's unlocked the individual and built a culture of continuous improvement. But we're always searching of how do we actually make and how do we unlock our teams. What we found was Scrum was the tool that actually unlocked and unleashed our teams. All right, on the agenda, the retrospective. I would say before it was very stressful. I'm never sure what the highest priority is. We were just tackling the most urgent thing, not necessarily the most important thing. There, there was a lot of struggle there because you, you didn't feel like you got to complete things and do things of value. It was our owner actually that first read the Scrum book and saw its potential. So we started off with Scrum in an engineering project if you looked at what we were doing maybe five or six years ago, uh, it would take us from you know, maybe about five years from concept to launch of a new product series. And what we've seen now is we were actually able to shorten that up into a, a year time frame. We worked as a team and we started talking to each other, started cross training more uh, so we could tackle bigger tasks together. Uh, we weren't reliant on one person for a certain type of issue. We could each do different types of issues now. We now have this ability to look at everything that we're doing and understand uh, the trade-offs. We've got longer-term project planning, we've got weekly project planning, and then we even have daily planning. So on a day-to-day -day basis, our teams are always collaborating, uh, working on projects, working within the team, also working with customers to make sure that what we're delivering is what our customers, uh, internal or external, are needed. And then uh, we have daily stand-ups that are collaborating together to make sure that we are making progress every day. And really, if we're ever in, uh, we have any impediments or roadblocks, that we're elevating those quickly, uh, addressing those uh, quickly, and then being able to continue moving forward. You see all these whiteboards everywhere with uh, sticky notes. You know, we joke around that we're invested in 3M because we use so many Post-its. And a big part of that is just creating the transparency that we're showing everything that we're working on. We have a list, everyone can see what's on the list, and they can see what we're working on and how their item compares to what everything else is working on. To fix a problem, you have to first make it seen. So just having these everywhere, having boards all across our, our work environment helps us see those things. I'll figure out which one needs to be the priority but I imagine it's probably gonna be the... What I love most about Scrum is just, it makes work fun, we're able to celebrate, it makes work competitive, it makes it like a game. How has it changed? Um, I enjoy work now. It's very nice having a goal and being able to reach it. Coming together to create something that's awesome and teams coming together to have fun. We used it in several other areas, a big uh, IT project rollout. Uh, and now it is spread throughout the rest of the company, everything from safety to uh, quality to uh, on-time delivery. And you think about what life was like before, we never really knew whether we were winning or losing. You know, now we can know it on a weekly and a daily basis. So it just makes work a lot more fun and allows us to deliver more value, which is ultimately what we're trying to uh, serve our, our company and our customers.